Hi friends, this is Corky the Plum Creek Booksmith and I'm back with another junk journal. This one is a patriotic theme. She measures seven and a half tall and um, five inches wide and her spine is a cloth spine and it's about two inches wide. It's the cloth spine that I usually do when I need to either increase the size of the spine, getting rid of the original spine of the book. Um, so then I decorated it with some of these antique buttons and there's holes drilled through the book boards where the buttons are at and so that helps to make the uh, spine that much stronger. She's decorated with an old, a copy of an old um, postcard and I've covered the postcard with kind of a, oh, I don't know what it's called, it's from Tim Holtz, I should have had it out here. Um, it just makes it look um, that much more vintage. Um, and then I put a little I put a ledger behind and I sewed it on and then there's this um, uh, French laundry label that I make of my own. It's got my initials on it and then there's this um, little ruffle here from a coffee filter. She's tied with a nice length of, um, oh golly, I can't think what that's called. I've done this, I've, I've started this video five times now. <laughs> Anyway, so we'll get busy. Most of the um, digitals are mine. This this one is not, and I will try to include the, this set in my description. I, I went on Etsy and tried to find something that would help me uh, fill this book. So, and I've I've um, sealed the inside here. This is a larger image of an old postcard, and the back as well. I've got some fun interactive features in the book and I will I'll get to those here in a little bit. She's three signatures and 164 pages. There's a little tuck spot here with a journal card, a little lace on the side. This is a book page. Here's a copy of an old postcard and um, I've made it smaller and so it fits in here really nice decorated the side with a little bow with blue baker's twine. This is part of that other um, digital. Here's one of my interactive features. You just pull on this string and it's a waterfall feature. And it just makes for extra writing space. And to the new owner, be real careful not to pull this completely out. It'll still work, but if you pull it out, then it kind of gets hung up and it, it's you have to finagle it back. Just pull it that far, and you'll you'll be great. You'll be you'll be good. Um, on some of the pages within, I thought it would be fun to to glam it up a little bit. So I I put some of this gold. Um, this one is I think what I did was um, I can't remember. I used this on some of the pages. It's kind of a powder, and you put it on with glue, and then I used this on some of the other pages, and it's just a rub and buff. And I think it just, I like how it turned out. And I, I use some of these little page darts throughout. They're just fun little decorations, plus you can uh, tuck things in on them. There's some of my digitals there. I put a whole bunch of old prescriptions within. This one's um, got a paper clip on it, on this old, 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 late 1800s ledger paper. And then this one just has an old envelope and it has my thank you card and some other things inside for the new owner. And this is just a top tuck here, this pretty image of an eagle with a, an American flag. And it just has uh, an off, co off cut of a, an old ledger. And then here's a little side tuck with some lace and it's got a, a tag in it. More book page. There's some more of that pretty digital. Another prescription on a, look at the calligraphy. I just love this. And then this was kind of a fun little um, piece of ephemera. It's, it's actually, uh, I think it was meant to be like a Christmas card. It says, jolly and happy may this festive season be. So <clears throat> I cut this apart right here and made it into a pocket with the Statue of Liberty girl there. And then this little side tuck holds some more 
journaling cards. Another one of the page darts. And here's another pocket of a small patriotic postcard. And then this is a top tuck, holds a small um, postcard. And another place for a postcard. There's another prescription and a page dart. And there's some more of that pretty gold foily paint or whatever it's called. And then this is some texture paste. It was uh, dark blue and I thought that was appropriate for this book. And I made an old envelope, or I copied an old envelope and and then I put this old Abe in here. Abe Lincoln goes in that pocket and I, I, I just uh, put some Baker's Twine there to hold that pocket together. Another prescription. And then here's a little envelope that I've decorated all up. Have a little side tuck there, a belly band kind of. And uh, then this this flips up. It's it's held together with Velcro. Little place to write. Cute little patriotic girl. There's Uncle Sam and a card here to write on. And then there's Lady Liberty and a sailor. And in this middle, I um, made a pocket, and it holds another postcard and a prescription. Which is some extra ephemera there. Here's a little tuck spot and some ephemera. Extra places to write if you need. And this was lots of fun. I watched Eva, the Bohemian crafter. She taught me how to do this. So here's a cute little postcard with a little girl and her puppy dog. And some extra little doodads. And another tag. They all go into this little spot here. And when you pull down on this, it opens up for some more writing space. And this can open out. Both sides open out for extra journaling space. And it folds up. And then down on this side is an envelope and it's a pocket and there's a pocket behind the envelope for this little journaling tag. And then here's one where the envelope window is and another old postcard. So that goes in there and then you just push it back together and it, it closes nice. And then these just hang on the top. Another pocket. And this just flips up for extra journaling space, front and back. And then on this side of the music page, there's some more of that gold decoration here. And there's a belly band, and it has an off cut of that uh, statement. And then another prescription. I'm kind of off camera there. I'm sorry. I'm not going to start it over again though. <laughs> this is not my day for filming I guess. We'll get her done though. There's a pocket here and it has a cute little girl holding a flag. And a, there's a bow made out of baker's twine and then this old red and white striped fabric that I love to use for pull tags. And there's another pocket here and then I just attach this little statement or whatever that's called and it just goes there folds up this is covered with or backed with an old index card and I decorated the pocket with red white and blue baker's twine There's another little tag with that old fabric some more of that gold decoration I tore a lot of the pages, so they're all kind of, they all have kind of a soft edge to them. Here's a pocket in the middle of the third signature, and I decorated the the strings with fabric, and the other one, the, the first one has the same, but I don't think there's sewing be on it. There's just a flash card. Dictionary page. 
lots of prescriptions. This folds out and then there's a pocket here and I just put some more ephemera in there. And this is kind of a belly band, but she also flips up. She's held with some muslin. And so she flips up and down and then she just goes right back there and then that makes a little belly band. I just did a cluster there with Uncle Sam. Um, another pocket with a page dart and another card that's got an index card backing for extra space to write. And then this one is a, a pocket made out of an old envelope. And I watched Wendy's tutorial on how to make those. And so that was lots of fun. And so this flips up. I have this one um, with a magnet here so it, it stays closed. And then this swings open for more journaling space. There's the magnet for here and there's the magnet up here. And then there's a pocket that has an off cut of a ledger page or book, bookkeeping page. And George Washington postcard. So that goes there, that goes down, and then there's the last page. And so there you have it. That's my patriotic junk journal for the week, for the year maybe. I hope I can make more. I like making them, but I do have other ideas for other journals. So I'm glad to have this one ready to put in my Etsy store. In fact, it's there now. Um, if you like this um, video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell so you can be reminded of upcoming videos. And um, I hope you all have a good day. And if I don't talk to you before Easter, I wish you all a happy Easter. Bye now.